If you're in the market for a new gaming laptop, you might be taken aback by the plenty of choices out there. We are talking Core i7s, Core i9s, RTX 4050s, 4060s, all the way up to a 4090. There are plenty of configurations and so what can you actually get if you're on a budget and what can you expect if you actually splurge? So we have two laptops here, the Acer Predator Helios Neo 16 and the Helios 16. One is budget, entry level, while the other is premium and so-called flagship. With a price difference of about 1500 Singapore dollars or 1000 US dollars, what can you actually expect on either end of the spectrum? With that said, you might be surprised at how much performance you can get from a mere RTX 4050. The Helios Neo 16 is one laptop that we can easily recommend, especially if you're tight on a budget. So, for this video, we are going to compare these two laptops, the Acer Predator Helios Neo 16 and the Helios 16. Both the laptops are within the Predator lineup from Acer, which is their gaming moniker, and thus, they do both feature a pretty similar design aesthetic. Now, whether you like it or not, that's entirely up to you. But there are a few key differences in the styling itself. We start with the Helios Neo 16, and it certainly has much more of a gamer vibe. You'll find blue accents around the exhaust fans, a Morse code on the rear portion, and a string of numbers on the lid itself. If you all actually find out what they all mean, well, leave a comment down below. Move over to the Helios 16 on the other hand, and you get a much more minimalistic aesthetic. It's almost black, with a really clean lid design, but you do now also get an entire RGB panel on the rear in exchange. With the Helios 16, you can choose to go loud or go stealth. That's entirely up to you. Thankfully, the build quality of the chassis itself isn't compromised with either of the two machines, especially the more budget-friendly Helios Neo 16. They both spot a mixture of aluminium and hard plastic for most of the frame, which gives the laptop a really sturdy and robust feel. In fact, they both also weigh the same, at 2.6 kilograms or about 5.73 pounds. Partly also because they both spot a 90 watt hour battery, which provides about 5 to 8 hours of battery life depending on the performance profile and the type of usage. Both laptops also spot the exact same port layout, down to the exact placement. We are talking two Type-C Thunderbolt 4 ports, two Type-A USB 3.2 Gen 2, and one Type-A USB 3.2 Gen 1, HDMI 2.1, RJ45 Ethernet, 3.5mm headphone mic combo, and a micro SD card reader. But here is where things start to get different, and we start with the display. The Helios Neo 16 has a 16-inch IPS panel that has a 1920 by 1200 resolution running at 165Hz and can get up to 400 nits in brightness, covers 100% sRGB and supports G-Sync. The Helios 16 on the other hand has a 16-inch IPS panel that has a 2560 by 1600 resolution running up to 240Hz, can get up to 500 nits in brightness, covers 100% DCI-P3 and also supports G-Sync. While both displays are extremely good as far as IPS panels are concerned, the Helios 16 does have a slight edge here with the higher resolution, faster refresh rate, higher brightness, and better color reproduction. There is however an option to outfit the Helios Neo 16 with a Quad HD Plus panel as well, which will bring the brightness up to 500 nits. But that panel will also still only cap out at 165Hz and 100% sRGB coverage, and it's strictly only available with the RTX 4060 laptop GPU SKU. Despite that, however, the Full HD Plus IPS panel on the Helios Neo 16 is still really good, and it's also arguably the better pair with the RTX 4050 laptop GPU. Now, where the two differs would also be the webcam. The Helios Neo 16 right here sports a 720p webcam, where the Helios 16 spots a full HD webcam. So there is a sizable increase in image quality for sure, but honestly, looking at both of them, they do all right. They are not the best, but they get the job done. The keyboard and touchpad are pretty much the same on both laptops, and they both perform great, except there's a slight difference when it comes to the keycaps. More so than that, however, is that the Helios 16 actually has a slightly more ergonomic layout with the keyboard pushed further up top. 
This makes the palm rest area a tad bigger as compared to the Helios Neo 16, which translates to a slightly more comfortable typing and gaming experience in our opinion. And if we are talking about speakers, well, they both do perform adequately, with the Helios 16 just being able to push out a tad higher in maximum volume. Okay, so we've established that both laptops are very, very similar in terms of the overall design and what it offers. Where the Helios Neo 16 and the Helios 16 really differs comes down to the specifications. The Helios Neo 16 can be equipped with the RTX 4050 or 4060 laptop GPU, while the Helios 16 can be equipped with the RTX 4070 or 4080 laptop GPU. In our case, we have both ends of the spectrum. This very Helios Neo 16 sports the Core i7-13700HX RTX 4050 laptop GPU with 140W TGP, 16GB of 4800MHz DDR5 RAM, and 1TB of PCIe Gen 4 SSD. The Helios 16 that we have sports the Core i9-13900HX RTX 4080 laptop GPU with 175W TGP, 16GB of 5600MHz DDR5 RAM, and 1TB of PCIe Gen 4 SSD storage. Without further ado, let's first take a look at how the laptops perform individually at their respective display resolutions. Though, do note we do run our tests at the standard 16x9, so do expect roughly a 5% difference in the performance when running at the full 16x10 resolution. We simply do this because it's easier to make comparisons with other laptops and stuff, but anyways, let's get on with it. As you can expect, the RTX 4080 laptop GPU is pretty phenomenal and does provide that high performance as it should, given its asking price. But don't discount the RTX 4050 laptop GPU, for it performs pretty admirably as well. Thanks to it being part of the 40 series from Nvidia, it does give you access to DLSS 3 frame generation, which actually makes playing games like Cyberpunk 2077 with ray tracing all turned on and still achieve a really awesome gaming experience. Now let's quickly look at what kind of performance uplift you'll be getting when comparing the two GPUs at the same resolution of 1080p. So let's roll those graphs.
Evidently, the Helio 16 performs much better. In our specific testing, the RTX 4080 laptop GPU provides about twice the performance as compared to the RTX 4050 laptop GPU. Though of course, the performance uplift is also partially thanks to the Core i9 in the Helio 16, which does help quite a bit when it comes to lower resolutions like 1080p. One thing the two laptops do have in common, however, is that if I'm going to use the turbo mode for the best performance like we did, they do get really loud, averaging around 64 decibels with those fans spinning away. The Helios Neo 16 does beat the Helios 16 in one department, however, and that's temperatures. The Core i7 and RTX 4050 combo in the Helios Neo 16 average just about 71 degrees Celsius and 66 degrees Celsius respectively, while the Core i9 and RTX 4080 combo in the Helios 16 average 99 degrees Celsius and 86 degrees Celsius respectively. The temperatures on the Helios 16 are certainly very high, especially for the CPU. But do note that this was also because of the turbo profile, which pushes the Core i9 to the extreme, pumping about 100 watts and running at 5 GHz. Though as we say that, this is getting really common nowadays with companies just pushing as much power as they can. So it is what it is. We would recommend sticking to the performance profile for the most part. So TLDR, the Helio 16 provides twice the performance as compared to the Helios Neo 16. Well, does that mean twice the price? Well, almost. Right now, the Helios Neo 16 with the RTX 4050 laptop GPU retails for about 2400 Singapore dollars while the Helio 16 with the RTX 4080 laptop GPU retails for about 3900 Singapore dollars. If you're in the US, you can find similar specs at about 1400 US dollars and 2300 US dollars respectively. If you have the money to spare and you do want the better performance with the RTX 4080 laptop GPU, which is actually one which will benefit from higher TGPs, the Helio 16 will be the one to go to. But for us here, we are actually pretty impressed with what the Helios Neo 16 offers, especially with the entry level RTX 4050 laptop GPU option. Paired with a Full HD Plus display, it still provides a really great gaming experience that we thoroughly enjoyed. Not to mention that temperatures are well under control and you don't lose much in features when compared to the much more expensive Bigger Brother. So, if you're in the market for a new gaming laptop, either of these will serve you well. But if you're also on a budget, definitely do check out the Helios Neo 16. The RTX 4050 laptop GPU can provide you much more than you might think and not to mention that there are offers in Singapore right now, so it's actually a pretty good time to snag one. Anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to take a look and answer them. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to us for more of such content and we'll see you in the next one. See ya!